Hi there, and welcome. Yeah, I know, I haven't done a Warhammer 40k for dummies video in a while, so I figured with the new release of Space Marine 2, we actually should do a 40k for dummies, at least for the blue boys themselves, because, well, a lot of people don't know about the Ultramarines, and this video actually would help them out a lot, because, quite frankly, Space Marine 2 just dropped last week, and I figured a lot of people need to know some good information about them. So yeah, welcome. Let's start out with the fact that the Ultramarines are pretty much the poster children for the 40k universe. I'm saying this with no due disrespect, but they are basically the poster children of the thing. If you ever seen Warhammer or talk to anybody that knows about Warhammer or even has an idea, they often say that the blue boys are the guys that are pretty much the top dogs, the head honchos. So yeah, let's do a little bit of a four dummy version of this. Well, let's start off with the fact that their prime mark is Robert. Gilliman, and that's the only time I'm ever gonna say his name correctly. So if you hear me say Robo Gilliman, Gilliman, or Girly Man, that's their Primarch. He's basically one of the only Primarchs that are still alive to this day after the Horus Heresy, which we'll do a deep dive into that later because it's Long story short, during the Horse Heresy, Gurleman got injured badly and was put in stasis so that way his life would be continuous. It was until around the 41st millennia where a Eldar by the name of, yeah, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, it, no. Anyways, she basically just brought him into a suit that basically continuously keeps him alive. Now, it's been said that he doesn't need the suit anymore. I kind of doubt it, but I kind of don't. It's just one of those things where it's just, why? But anyway, after he was revived and brought back, he was basically thrown into the role of being the new emperor, or at least the mouthpiece for the emperor. And when he woke up, oh boy, was he not happy. He watched something that his father basically built from the ground up saying no religion, no this, no that, and they became the most heretical, freaking, xenophobic sons of bitches, even though his father worked so hard to stop people from doing that. There is an interesting conversation between Gilliman and the Emperor at one point in a couple books, and well, long story short, the Emperor doesn't help himself, he actually, he, he kind of is just a dick. Fuck you! Anyways, that's enough about Gilliman, let's move on to the Ultramines. The Ultramines are actually led by the Chapter Master for the entire time Gilliman was in stasis. That would be Kalgar. Kalgar was the Chapter Master for the longest time, and he is probably one of the most badass, and is even in Space Marine too. You know the big guy at the end where you have bolt pistol gauntlings? That's Kalgar, and oh boy is he a badass. Man literally just says, fuck you, let me do me. I'm gonna do my own thing. On every occasion known to goddamn man. And you know what? That is the most base thing you can ever hear. Basically, he is considerably one of the stronger space marines currently, now Primaris, but the problem is, well, he's kind of overzealous. He's one of the few space marines that was around during the Horus Heresy, but he just, well, doesn't actually correct some of the improprieties. Oh, and trust me, when Gilliman woke up, he ripped him a new one for not stopping the Ecclesiarchy, which is basically the church of the God Emperor. And and it was just bad. It was just bad. He got humbled real quick. But in all honesty, let's move on from that to the Ultramarines, or the Ultra Smurfs, as a lot of guys, you know, make the joke of. The Ultramarines, like I said, are the poster children. Their majority of them on Ultramar are basically, it's a toss up. If you have a certain Sartes, they usually are, well, kinder. They're not openly assholic. They're actually kind of cool. The other thing is with it, it it's kind of odd in a way. Long story short, basically the idea behind a majority of the Ultramar is either they are religious zealots of the God Emperor or they are not. The Codex Astartes basically is the book that is the groundwork. Basically the how-to guide for being a space marine and even half of them just think that it's not really worth reading. It really isn't. You don't follow the rules of it like the letter. Titus, rules should never make a prisoner of intelligence. 
But hey, at least they do what they need to, get shit done and everything else. I will say they are more holier than thou. Uh, if you would look at like salamanders who actually help civilians. I hear an angel. The Ultramarines, sometimes you can get assholes that are legit just like, fuck you civilians, we're going to leave now because we're actually more expensive. Or, guardsmen, you can hold the line while we retreat. You know the uh, scene from uh, Bad Company? Check it out! It's a Calvary! Yeah, isn't it amazing how we always go towards the fighting and they're always flying in the opposite yeah, that scene. Basically the exact same thing. They just don't give a shit. They will not care. If it's not winnable, they're gonna leave. They don't want to fight. Which, in all honesty, you're that big of a wuss. But hey, that's just me saying that. Now, I will say there are a couple other things that I could say about the Ultramarines, like the fact that they shit the bed about 90% of the time. But the Primaris Marines that took over for them in the 41st millennia, which most of them were in cryo sleep for the horse heresy and a couple other things, that's a very large issue. All you need to know is a large majority of the Primaris Marines are basically people that were put into stasis about 10,000 years ago. So when they woke up, they were very disoriented. And after the procedure was greenlit by Gilliman himself and a couple other people, it finally, finally, we got an update on the Space Marine. And, well, they're better? I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better! To a degree, Space Marines are often just weird as in general, but Primaris Marines, they're basically the upgraded version, and it's weird. Primaris Marines, even my armor is a Primaris Marine. Yeah, my armor, VTuber model, is a Primaris Marine. The regular Space Marines are pretty cool and all, but I actually like the Primaris design. But hey, that's pretty much it. When it comes to Ultramar and the Ultramarine, they're not that complicated. They're big boy Smurfs who half the time are heretical zealots and the other half are really nice people. You gotta get a coin flip on that. Like I said, there's guys like Titus or Lieutenant Titus who basically use the codex as a guideline, not as a strict rule. And then you got guys like Kalgar. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing more I can tell you about the Space Marines besides that. So yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed or liked this, leave a like and a subscribe. And also hit that bell so to keep up to date. I also do shorts every day or every other day, every week. So yeah, keep an eye out for that because sometimes it's funnier than shit. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And always, remember, TO THE EMPEROR!